Hey guys, Des here, a girl who likes to build. In this video, I will be demonstrating the process of building a printer stand that I purchased through Walmart.com. I purchased this printer stand to develop my office space as well as to hold my printer, which I also purchased through Walmart.com. This printer stand came with an instruction manual that consists of 13 steps. However, for the purpose of this video, I broke those instructions into more steps in order to make the explanation of the building process more understandable. Check it out. The instruction manual consists of 8 pages front and back. There are a total of 165 parts. I use the word connector to refer to the parts that hold the printer stand together, as well as the handles for the drawers and the wheels. There are 142 connectors and 23 boards. The first step is to grab boards A and B. These are the longest boards. They are also the top and bottom for the printer stand. This step also requires 12 A screws, that's 6 for both board A and board B. I place 6 on top of board A, I also place 6 on top of board B. After completing step 1, I decided to create a visual of what the printer stand will look like in my office space. Step 2 requires boards D and E, as well as 4 A screws. Two A screws go into each board. Step 3 requires boards M and N, as well as eight A screws. Each board requires four A screws. Step 4 requires both board H's, both board J's, both board K's, and 16 A screws. For board H, there will be four screws each. Boards J and K will take two each. Step 5 requires boards C and D. This step also requires the 6 J pieces which break down into J1 and J2. These pieces are necessary for the drawers to slide into the cabinet. This step also requires 12 E screws. As previously stated, part J breaks down into parts J1 and J2. J2 is on the bottom here and J1 is on the top. J1 connects to the drawers of the cabinet and J2 is attached to the interior walls of the cabinet. Screw E must go into the second hole of J2. Once it is aligned, you should be able to see the hole. However, that hole is not pre-drilled, so if you're using a screwdriver, it will require extra pressure. The process of screwing screw E into the second hole of J2 will be much easier if J1 and J2 are detached by pulling the black lever. However, I did this the more difficult way by leaving J1 and J2 together. This required me to screw screw E through a hole in J1 as well as J2 and the wall of the cabinet. This is what the second screw looks like after it is screwed into J2 and the cabinet wall. It does not stop J1 from sliding over J2. That is important because this is the piece that allows the drawers to slide in and out of the printer stand. This is what board C and D look like with the J pieces attached via the E screws. Step 6 requires board D, board E, board F, and 4 B screws. On the other side of D, there are the A screws from earlier. This must be attached to board F using the B screws. Once D is attached to F, the same should be done with E, and it should look like this. Step 7 requires boards B, C, D, and E, as well as 6 B screws. This is board B. While it is in this orientation, Board C must be attached to the first two A screws on board B using the B screws. Board D must be attached to the center two A screws using the B screws. And board E must be attached to the last two A screws using the B screws. The printer stand should now look like this. Step 8 requires the 2G boards. These boards establish the back of the printer stand. They must be slid into the grooves that are etched into boards B, C, D, and E. After this, board A must be attached to the top using 6 B screws. Board A establishes the top of the printer stand. 
Step 9 requires board A and 6B screws. Board A must be attached to board C, D, and E using the 6B screws. That establishes the top of the printer stand. Here is the bottom of the printer stand, which demonstrates where the wheels will be attached. Step 10 requires the 2G wheels, 2H wheels, and the 16F screws. There are four holes in each corner of the cabinet that the wheels must be attached to. Be sure that the G wheels, which are the wheels with the locks on them, are at the front of the printer stand, and that the H wheels, which are the wheels that do not have locks on them, are at the back of the printer stand, like so. The printer stand should look like the above. Step 11 requires the J piece, the K piece, and the I piece. There are two of each, and this will compose the two smaller drawers. The groove should be facing the bottom because that's where the L piece will connect. This step also requires 8B screws to connect I, J, and K via the previously attached A screws. Step 12 requires two L pieces, which must be slid in place to the connected I, J, and K pieces, and this forms the bottom of the drawers. Step 13 requires two H pieces and eight B screws. That's four B screws for each drawer. The H forms the front of the drawer to which the handle will be attached. Step 14 requires two D handles and four C screws. It must be attached to H just as in the picture. And obviously this allows one to be able to pull the drawer out and push it back in to the printer stand. Step 15 requires boards N, O, P, and L, as well as four B screws and two I connectors. Step 15 is very similar to steps 11 through 12. This is just a bigger drawer. The main difference between the bigger drawer and the smaller drawers is that the bigger drawer contains the I connectors, which can be used to attach files to the big drawer. Step 16 requires board M, 4B screws, 2D handles, and 2C screws. This step is similar to steps 13 and 14. This is the completion of the big drawer. Step 17 requires the drawers and the J connectors. The drawers must be attached to the J connectors in order to slide in and out of the printer stand. J1 connects to the side of the drawers as J2 remains attached to the inside of the printer stand. It's much easier to accomplish this part by detaching J1 from J2 by pulling the black lever. Once J1 is attached to the drawer, it is easy to reattach it to J2 just by sliding it into place. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed completing my printer stand. The process of creating my office space has been a unique experience for me and I have joy at the thought that someone may be able to benefit from the sharing of this experience. Constructive feedback is always welcome so like, comment, subscribe if you feel comfortable doing so. Until next time.